I plead the blood of Holy Yahushua over this video and over the mind, body, and spirit of every child of Yah watching this video in Yahushua HaMashiach's holy name. Good morning, um, priests, body of Christ. Today is December 17th, 2020. Today I'm going to go over a series of um, series of prophetic words all having to do with the Archangel Michael. Um, sorry, I'm going to skip around a little bit because I don't have these in order, but you'll see the dates on them. This one in particular was posted on the community page on April 6, 2020. Before I get started, I want to give all the glory to Father Yahuwah, our Mashiach, Yahushua HaMashiach, and Ruach HaKodesh, Holy Spirit, Shokmah. Okay, so I'm going to get started here. This has to do with the arrival of Archangel Michael and how this comes into play um, with current events. So again, this one was posted on the community page on April 6, 2020. And this was knowledge that Father gave me regarding um, what the stars really are uh, in uh, written prophecy. And let me skip around here. Hold on just a second. First off, explaining... Um, the um, the angels. The angels in the book of Enoch are explained as celestial beings, wandering stars, and illuminaries. Okay. Now, while I was sitting uh, here today in stillness, I've been waiting, I've been sitting on this to announce because I wanted to get a confirmation from Father. I wanted to hear from Him directly. And I did, in stillness, he spoke to me today, this morning. And he said regarding the arrival of Archangel Michael, he said, am I not a consuming fire? Are asteroids not a consuming fire? Again, in the book of Enoch, they are referred to as celestial beings, wandering stars and illuminaries. Taking that into consideration, the name Michael is he who is like God. So again, is he not a consuming fire? Thus says Father Yahuwah. Okay, I'm going to skip around here to the beginning of my walk. This was done, uh, I believe, in 2016. A video that I had put out uh, regarding uh, when I was shown Archangel Michael. And what I was shown was the tsunami over New York was the start of the Civil War. It was the world's revolution. I will include that link so you can hear firsthand uh, that word that Father had given me. And that particular prophecy, I was not allowed to speak about it until several years later, publicly, uh, what I had been shown. Um, so I'm going to um, go over to this right here, um, Scripture that correlates with that uh, particular setting in that vision. All right. So it says in here, um, For the Lord shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Now we also know in uh, Daniel 12, it speaks of the arrival of Archangel Michael and how um, he will stand up at that time and there will be tribulation as never before. Okay, this is back in January 9th of 2020 when I was in transition of either staying where I was at or making the jump and moving to um, a neighboring state. And when I did so, um, I had gotten lost on the GPS. And Father had me looking into the Blue Star Kachina of the Hopi Prophecy, which is Archangel Michael, the illuminaries, the celestial beings. Okay, just to give you a little bit of uh, insight there so that you, you follow. Now, it again confirms the element of fire. And it confirms Daniel 12. Michael's arrival, in which he will stand up. Now, in the Hopi prophecy, the Blue Star Kachina is described as, in brief, the return of the Blue Star Kachina 
who is also known as Nanga Sohu, will be the alarm clock that tells us of the new day and a new life, a new world that is coming. This is where the changes will begin. Now, there's been a lot of talks about this convergence and the convergence of Saturn and Jupiter. Again, that's where this comes in that Father had given me back in April of 2020. He's been given this to me in parts since 2016. He's been giving me this prophecy of Archangel Michael. Now, at that time, Father had given me instruction that I would have to announce. I would have to announce Archangel's, Archangel Michael's arrival. I give him all the glory. It's very uncomfortable to have to say this, but we are at that time, folks. We are at that time. Priests, body of Christ, if you are awake, you know this. In March of March 26 of 2020, I was shown, as I was hearing the Psalms, I was shown a vision of a large clay shoe. Where are we at now, guys? The clay shoe being mingled with iron. It looked like that of a slip-on sad, uh, sandal, covered toes. On it were engraved angel feathers. It appeared as if it were stomping down, just as I had been shown of Archangel Michael. Again, please watch that original video to fully comprehend the message. This is the time that we're in. The very setting of when I was given Archangel Michael. This prophecy comes from November of 2016. Now, on top of that, I understood that Father wanted me to, that now was the time to announce this. And a couple of um, months ago, I did briefly go over that, over the Archangel Michael prophecy. And I included the original message as well. Look here again, guys. It's talking about the asteroid deep impact. What are our luminaries? What does Father say this morning? Am I not a consuming fire? Lastly, I received a confirmation from uh, Queen Aliyah Ora, and she received just this last Monday. She says, Praise Yah, will you do a video announcing it, sister? At that time, I, I didn't know where Father was taking me because this was last Monday. It says, I dreamed last night that the prophecy, the Archangel Michael prophecy, had come true, and I was explaining to Leti how I already knew about the blue and red Kachina. I think you're right. Now again, I was waiting for confirmation from Father Yahua, and this is where I arrived at this today when I was sitting here. I had been waiting for him to show me and tell me anything to tell me that it was time for me to speak this. I think we all know what time it is. That day shall not take us like a thief in the night. Priests, I am going to encourage you, now more than ever, the enemy is on the prowl. He is waiting and lurking to see whom he can devour. Stay girded up, but also make sure that you're standing on Father's promises. I love you all. Holy is Yahushua. Shabbat Shalom priests and welcome back to Wakefulness Theology. My name is Queen Aliyah Oria and thankfully, thanks to you and your donations over the past years, we have finally been able to upgrade our production and so now we have a, this brand new snazzy jazzy camera, uh, this microphone, hopefully you can hear me uh, really well now, uh, and so this would be our first time doing this setup, but over the next year, 2021, Hebrew year 2021, we're going to get it together and up our game here on these videos because there is very important information that that Father is having us get out to you. The first part is the arrival of Archangel Michael. Second part is the beast coming out of the pit. The third part is that we will be going through intensive training, learning how to cast out demons. And the fourth part is 
The fourth part is that we'll be learning a new code, a new secret language. And there's another part, but I can't remember right now. It'll come back to me. Anyhow, those are the main important points that we need to uh, talk about uh, today and over the next few weeks. So as you can see on the screen, our next letter, holy letter, is Kuf. Uh, this is 1919, 1919, and this is from the tribe of Benjamin. So we it also goes from the years 2030 to 2033. I've always already explained these years. Th these years are just simple uh, time frames for us to look for these prophecies to be starting to uh, come true. So you'll start to have dreams and visions about things along these lines around, you know, coming towards the 2030s, and then we'll be living them between the time. And then it still continues after it. It's not a start and stop. It's just a general time period for us to be aware of what to be looking out for as far as prophecy at that time. So here we have Satan's army. We have Armageddon. We have egg DNA. And when you look up 1919 in Strong's, it says Myrtle of the Earth, and Myrtle symbolizes purity, innocence, and secret messages. So today, let's just start directly with Satan's army and Armageddon. As you saw in the introduction, Queen Deborah Michaela was explaining the red kachina and the blue kachina. Now, this is a message that we've uh, received, we've been receiving over the years, and we now understand that the blue kachina seems to be representing Archangel Michael, and she explained that in the beginning of the, this video. That's the other point I wanted to say that I forgot at the beginning. The, the last point that we need to talk about is that it seems that we are understanding that we are not far from the red kachina prophecy, which is Satan falling to earth and the beast ascending from the bottomless pit. If you look back at uh, the videos we were doing in 2017, I had received the message that um, Satan is coming in 20, right before Obama was elected president the first time, which was uh, 2009. The, the sign of the woman of Revelation 12 actually happened in 2012. I've explained that in the past, and you can go back and look at these videos to understand more. Then we had the sign in 2017, which many people believed and thought was the sign of the woman, but actually it was um, the sign of the Antichrist or the Prince of Persia uh, coming. And we talked about that back then. And so now with all these messages going on and the understanding of the red and, and blue Kachina, I looked at the Bible countdown and sure enough it's written right here for the years of 2021 up into 2024 and beyond. Take it to prayer, find out for yourself, get confirmation for yourself. This is what we are beginning to believe is true and beginning to understand through all of the messages. So put it together for yourself, ask Father and uh, let him tell you. Now with the blue Kachina. From all of the messages that Queen Deborah Michaela has received, when I put it together with the dream that King Yahusha Samson had about me, and I've already uh, shared this dream with you, where he and his wife, uh, Michalina Carmela, came here uh, to France. And my, in, in this vision that Queen Deborah Michaela, you were saying, oh my goodness, look, his eyes are glowing. Look, his eyes are glowing. And then all of a sudden, we were gone. Like, we, we just, like, we took off. And we disappeared. And I know that whenever this, whenever our, our, our transformation happens, that we're going to be able to travel in a variety of ways. Now, this is the second time that I was shown us traveling as, like, as if we were asteroids coming to the Earth. And they fell like asteroids. They were transformed and they flew like asteroids and they fell and hit the earth like asteroids. Now we've seen this many times in TV shows. There's the TV show The Messengers where uh, Satan fell to earth. He was uh, in an asteroid. So with all of these things putting them together, I am understanding that the messages are saying that when this asteroid hits the earth, 
we can understand that this is the blue Kachina prophecy being fulfilled. And I absolutely did receive confirmation about that as Queen Deborah Mikaela explained in the video at the beginning where she said that I had the dream. I was, t I was saying that I already knew, it had, the prophecy had already come true and I already knew about the red and blue Kachina. Also what I've understood from these messages and, and dreams and prophecies all coming together is that when the asteroid falls, somehow, some way, it will kick off our transformation to a higher level, whatever form of transformation we're going to be going through before that. When that asteroid hits, boom, it's on. Like we, I don't know how or why, I don't, and I don't know when, but they're connected. The asteroid falling is connected to Archangel Michael's arrival, as it says in scripture, and it is connected to our transformation. Boom, boom, boom. So when you see these things uh, transpiring, know what is happening. Also, you can see here on the screen, Deborah Michaela. She had a message back in 2018. Good morning, brethren. As encouraged, Father is having me share openly what was granted to me in words recently. He granted me the words the purple portal is about to open since then there have been two reports of sightings uh, on the channel's third phase moon and mb333 be of good cheer and mindfully and mindfully stay rooted in his word and his promises and so when she shared that with us uh queen ariel carissa confirmed it that she was watching her children were watching cartoons and here you can see the purple portal okay the purple portal is opening not only that, but I also have received confirmation of purple just yesterday. The confirmation was about our new member in the menorah. Quickly, I don't want to take too much time on this, but I want you to understand that everybody is replaceable. You can get in your menorah, but if you do not, if you are not obedient, and if you are not doing what Father has you doing, supposed to do, you will be removed. And if you look back in scripture, you see many examples of this. You see Moses was not able to go into the promised land. Um, you can see with how Queen, was it Queen Esther replaced? Queen Vashti. You can see uh, with Saul and David. You can see many examples of people who were given a position and they lost it. So it is a thing and you do not get a notice. You are just replaced, okay? And this is not coming from me. This is what happened. Father has taken down a queen and has risen up another queen. And that's why we must stay humble and don't ever think you have it in the bag because we haven't made it until we made it. And so far, nobody has made it yet. Nobody has made it yet. So when uh, one of our queens left, um, we were asking who would replace her. King had many dreams already uh, that, that uh, his wife was singing with us in the menorah. I asked for my confirmation and I went to the secret place with Holy Yahushua and asked him to give me confirmation that Michalina Carmela should join us in our menorah. Holy Yahushua told me to ask her what her favorite color is. Now, my faith is very strong but when he tells me to do things like that, it is always a, a test of faith because you just don't know. You know, you're like, what? Ask what her favorite color is. I mean, I don't know. But in obedience, I did it. And her favorite color is purple. And so when the other person, the other queen stepped down, right after she stepped down, I mean, literally, like she stepped down from her position for her own, own personal reasons. It's, it's her issues. She stepped down. I went to Messenger, opened up, and there was a brother in Christ who sent me the message and he said that he saw the amethyst and he was given the number 4210, which you can see on the screen, which is one of the main numbers that he's been seeing throughout his life, 124, and when he looked it up in Strong's, it means purple. <laughs> All praise, glory, and honor to the Most High Father. So I just want to thank you, uh, Brother Xavier. You confirmed a very important message for me. All of that to say, the purple confirmation, I don't. I believe it's not only for uh, Queen Michalina Carmela, 
but it's also for this purple portal. These things are going to be happening, priest. I don't know when, but when you see them happening, know what is really going on. I'm on. So that is about the arrival of Archangel Michael. And if you want to know more about what happens, it's right here in Scripture. So you can know where you are in Scripture and you can count down. Here is another message. I believe that this comes from uh, Queen Ariel Carissa. At 1.02 a.m., words downloaded, the angels from heaven shall arrive on earth, save every man. Initially, upon waking to document, I perceived it to be referring to the holy angels. The dots in the sentence uh, represents many words that I didn't quite catch and may have missed, but I wrote it down exactly as I remember hearing to prayer on this uh, already. Words down, downloaded, they hide behind the odors of asphalt and brimstone. I was given knowing the reference to Revelation 9, the bottomless pit, demons. As I researched asphalt, it is also the same as tar, pit, uh, pitch, bitumen, and also the Greek word tar, taurus, which means hell or same as the abyss. It is associated with demons. They used for Tower of Babel in Genesis 11.3. That is the 3.11, 11.3, which is the 9.11 that we've been talking about all this time. Also, it is found in the Dead Sea Scrolls in Genesis 14.10 when the kings of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah battled, I guess. So here's some information about asphalt that she found that you can see on the screen. And here is the mural at Denver Airport that King shared with us and you can see it is a picture of the beasts the demons coming out of the bottomless pit now we know this is coming as well this is connected with CERN this is connected with the asteroid this is connected with um, uh, Archangel Michael and all of these things that we have just talked about now the reason I'm giving you this message because when I give a message, it's not only enough that other people receive the message. I as well have had, when I share it, it's because I as well have received confirmation of it, okay? So when I give you a message, it's because I also have received it, okay? So that's why I'm giving this message now. Back in, uh, back on December 6th, 2017, I had the dream about four and a half years and I received the two menorahs and that is the day when... President Trump changed the capital of Jerusalem to, of Israel to Jerusalem. That's when he changed the capital of Israel to Jerusalem. And we have been counting down the four and a half years ever since. The four and a half years is finished on June 6th, 2022. Now, um, Governor Luke Louis has brought it to our attention that that is 666. June is 6. The 6th is the 6th, and 2022-246, that is 666. I'm not saying something's going to happen on that day. I have no idea. All I know is I was given that time, and it is connected with all of these events that are currently happening right now, okay? And so I was talking with about this with um, Enoch Ezekiel David, who you will get to meet uh, in the next playlist very shortly. And he received the message, when I told him this, he received that that is when the, the uh, beast will be coming out of the bottomless pit. All I can say is that anywhere between now, when we're receiving this message, and it's not only uh, us, the priest in wakefulness theology, many people on YouTube and, and many prophets and, and messengers are warning about this now. And this dream that the Lord started giving me, was almost coursing me and drawing me by his holy spirit to the father through the son of jesus his son jesus christ and there were many 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 vivid visions but this one dream i'm going to share to you real quick and this was a dream um that i was in this city it almost seemed like there was new new york city and i was at a restaurant slash church i remember it very vividly it was a church but inside this church like think of the basic squared you know steeple church Okay, but inside it was a dark, gloomy setting, uh, low light, and it was a restaurant. And there were many, many famous people. I remember seeing Adam Sandler, Steve Carell, the President Obama at the time, 
I remember seeing uh, Matthew McConaughey. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you guys probably know him. And all these sort of actors, celebrities, and famous people who are idols in these in this world, right? And as I'm sitting there in a meeting, and I'm just like looking around at everyone, and something doesn't feel right. And we're right directly in the city. And I can see a huge window, and there's a street, and it's a dark street. It's at nighttime. And there's like nobody there, a whole bunch of cars, but nobody's outside. And I'm sitting there and I know I felt this feeling. Something is about to happen. Now, as soon as I thought that feeling, boom, the lights shattered, lights went out. Everyone starts getting up in chaos and talking to everyone. What's going on? What was that? Why are the lights out? Why, why is everybody whoa, 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 like in just pure chaos and confusion? And I remember standing up and I got filled. What I now know was the Holy Spirit. At that time, I just thought it was adrenaline or rush because I wasn't born again yet. But I now know that was me being filled with this Holy Spirit. I said, Jesus Christ is coming. Repent. He is coming. He is coming. And then all of a sudden we look in the streets and everybody's eyes gaze in the streets and the, the streets start opening up. They start opening up. And you can see these huge beasts with huge claws and many, many teeth teeth start coming out of the streets and they 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 are trying and i you just see the human beings who uh were walking in the streets at that time you know because there was no human beings in there human beings and then the beast started clawing them and grabbing them and throwing them everywhere and i knew that they were going to come inside <clears throat> there were two people in that whole church restaurant that were saved and born again and i thank god i was a part of that why how could i tell because we were invisible to the evil creature that came out of the pit. Why? Because when the, 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 the evil monster started coming in and terrorizing and throwing around tables and humans and flesh and gory, it was, it was really, really scary. It, put, it, it, it scared me a lot in the dream, I remember. But I was invisible because the beast walked right past me. It almost sniffed me and walked right past me. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie oh, with... What's that guy from The Office? Uh, and then he made a movie where it's like... Quiet, quiet, a quiet place. That's what it was. I saw that a, a while ago. Um, but yeah, it was like that movie, The Quiet Place, where if you, they're blind, but if you stay quiet enough, they'll go right past you. Okay. And, and then I woke up. <clears throat> so we're beginning to receive this message in the heavenlies. So this can happen anytime, anytime. You know, if you see a bomb, if you see an asteroid, if you see a whatever shaking that is happening, it can, that could be it. Okay. So from now, we're looking at the window from now up until uh, uh, 2022, June 6th. It could be before then, it could be after then, but this is the relative time frame that we're expecting these things to be manifesting. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not trying to date set. I'm doing like it says in the Bible that we are to look out and, and, and to look and see the time. You can see the weather, but can you see the time? That's all we're doing. So please know that this is where we are in prophecy. These things are beginning to manifest. And when you see the shaking, when you see the meteor, when you see the bombs, when you see the, the war, this is what's happening. Archangel Michael is arriving. The beasts are coming out of the bottomless pit. And I'm sorry to be bringing you this news. Believe me, I am grieved. And this is another message that we must be lamenting. We must be wearing our sackcloth as we were told last year. We must be repenting for other people. Just like it says in Job, he used to, he would repent for his children in case they did something wrong. We need to be repenting for our, our loved ones, our families, our friends, our countries. Repent for the people who don't know better. You need to be fasting for them. You need to be pleading the blood of Christ over them. And I'm not only telling you this in word, I'm doing it myself. And we need to be lamenting. Go to your secret place, fall on your face and cry and cry and cry and, and beg Father for mercy on our souls and on the people that we love and all of those who can be saved. Pray that they will be saved. Every man, woman and child with a human soul, may they be saved. Do it, priest. This is your responsibility. This is your job. It is here now. These things are here now. The image of the beast, AI, is here. 
the beast, whoever you believe he is, he's here. And the beast system is here. Know this. So as prophesied, we understood years ago that 2019, the uh, Satan's army would begin to assemble. And we've been saying that for since the beginning of this ministry. And here we are. Is it not true? Is it not happening? Can you not see it? So not only will the demons be arriving, but the angels will also be arriving as we have understood through Queen Ariel Carissa. And this is why we have the fight <laughs> that's coming. And this is why we will be receiving our powers. And this is why we will be learning to cast out demons because you're going to have to do that. Uh, this is the other message. As we've said before, you see this scripture where it says, this is the sign that you will know that Yah is with a person, the ability to cast out demons. And when he was casting out demons, they thought it was some kind of black magic. And he said, no, a kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. So demons do not cast out demons. So when you see a person casting out demons, you can be sure that they are from Father, that he is with them. It is here written in scripture. That is the first thing that the disciples learned. And this is what Queen Ariel Carissa said last night in, in service. The first thing they learned is how to cast out demons. So in this time coming with the, the, the beast coming out of the pit and all of his minions, you're going to have to know how to cast out demons. You're going to have to be uh, transformed if you want to make it through this. That's why, Lord in heaven, Jesus of Christ of Nazareth, my Savior, Holy Spirit, please give me the words for this. Your willful disobedience, your willful ignorance, your denial of what I have sent my messengers and prophets to say and do will no longer be tolerated. You will know the truth and you will either be the truth or you will fall to the wayside. Thus saith the Lord. There is going to come a time where slander, I've been warned that a, pro a prominent YouTube person is going to come out against us again and slander us and say that we're not hearing from the Father. Lies, lies, and lies false witness. And I'm telling you now, there will come a day when that is no longer going to work because it's going to be clear and evident who is the real church and who is the false church. Those who have taken the mark, woe unto you. Woe unto you. Those who will not be able to cast out demons and heal the sick and, 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 and preach the gospel. that day is coming and it's coming very fast and it's coming like a bullet train you're either on this arc or you're not so we will be doing an intense study a work study a workshop direct practice with casting out demons this will happen thus saith the lord now my confirmation to this here is, here is my recording. Listen to my dream, please. I had the same kind of dreams. It was all night going on. Um, I think I had was delivered. I think an angel. I, I, it's hard for me to explain because it, I was sleeping, so it was not exactly clear. But at one point, I believe an angel came to me and uh, delivered me from something. I don't know what. Um, and told me something, I, I wish I could have written it down, but I was asleep, but it had something to do with light uh, coming from my eyes, and that, you know, casting out demons, something like, I'll be able to cast out demons with the light that he was putting in my eyes, or coming from my eyes, or something, I don't know what it was, but it was, Angel uh, came and was operating on me. Uh, and then uh, I got that, I, w I was woken up, I think it was Holy Yahushua who woke me up to pray at five something in the morning. And then um, I wasn't, I didn't get up to pray yet. 
and I was going to go back to sleep, and then he gave me the message that I left on the other, other chat about, again, casting out demons. Um, and then I was like, well, do you want me to get up and pray? So he was like, yeah. So I got up and prayed um, in tongues. I was on fire. And then um, he told me, I don't remember the order of events, but it was at some point during this going on here. He told me, oh, if I can remember, he's going to give me messages about uh, how to cast out demons over the next 14 days. So I, I, you know, I honestly just kind of remember this as I'm saying it. So I'm, it was all you know, it was just like a, a whole experience, and so it's really hard to recount. But um, this is what I remember. He's going to be giving me instruction. This is it. He's going to be giving me instruction about uh, how to cast out demons or something to the effect, and I need to be prepared to write it down when he tells me. And I'm going to be getting the instruction over the next 14 days, something to this effect. So, Okay, so you can see in the dream that Holy Yahushua came to me and and told me that he's going to, there's going to be, well, an angel told me, I guess, that there's going to be light in my eyes that will cast out demons. And then Holy Yahushua told me that over the next two weeks, 14 days, he was going to teach me, right? Over that two weeks, uh, you can see here on the screen, I received two messages, more than one, more than two messages, but I um, took a screenshot of two of the messages. Uh, the first one here, this is from Enoch Ezekiel David, who you've met before. He's left a message here on, on uh, Wakefulness Theology before, but we're going to be working with him. Now, you can see here, he sent me this message on December 22. I had the dream on December 14th. That was the night of the new moon when we had sung. And the 14-day period uh, was from the 14th until the, till the 28th. So that whole week, that is when Enoch Ezekiel David started contacting me about um, how to cast out demons. And you can see his message here on the 22nd, and you can see his uh, message here on the 25th. And that is when I understood that that was what Holy Yahushua was talking about, that this is how we're going to learn. Now, that is going to be the next playlist. And the things that we are experiencing right now at Wakefulness Theology are so extraordinary, so extraordinary that I, I can't even I, I can't even begin to explain with my words. I can only show you. King Yahusha Samson has been sent to Wakefulness Theology. As we've already told you, he is representing Joshua. He is representing the one who will help us get over the Jordan River. That Jordan River is about our transformation, right? Do you remember all this work we've done? Okay. So he has been appointed to help deliver us. That is what that means. He has begun his delivery ministry. So all priests that are working in wakefulness theology, please take it to Father and get your confirmation and go see him to be delivered. He is delivering uh, people from, from curses and from uh, all kinds of oppression from the enemy week by week. And every story is miraculous. You have people convulsing. You have people uh, yelling and screaming and just dramatic, dramatic uh, deliverances. And we're going to start to um, film these and share them with you so you can see with your own eyes. And Enoch Ezekiel David, he is dealing with extraordinary supernatural stories that we will share and film and bring to you as much as possible. So I want you to know that this is happening from Holy Yahushua's mouth himself. He has told me this and shown it and proven it and confirmed it to me. All right, priest. Now, another confirmation about this, as you can see on the screen, this is a screenshot from when a couple of video videos ago when I was talking about Kings 2, 2, 21, and please notice that that is the 2, 2, 2. He went forth into the spring of waters and cast the salt in there and said, Thus saith the Lord, I have healed these waters, and there shall not be from hence any more death or barren land. So do you remember in that video, uh, I gave that message a couple of videos ago. So right after that, it was around the same time that I'm getting the messages about learning how to cast out demons, is when I received this message that I already told you about. He who pures the water will ensure the casting out of demons. Can I get an amen? Now that is a direct 
confirmation to what I said, uh, the Kings 2.21 verse. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you see on the screen? You see the message? You see the, the verse, right? We are the waters. We are the springs. Do you remember? He is going to ensure the casting out of demons. And we as the church must be clean first. Please don't let this be about an ego. Humble yourself. We talked about this with Derek Prince. There's different levels of, of uh, demon activity. It doesn't mean that you're possessed by a demon. You could just be oppressed by a spirit or whatever's going on, but you have to be clean. This is a supernatural process and you cannot go forth casting out demons if you have any impurities in you. You cannot do it. And that is a mandatory step of you calling yourself a disciple, you calling yourself a priest. You have to be able to cast out demons. This is a sign that Father is with you. This is an obligation obligation. This is a necessity. This is not an option. You got to do it if you want to get through this apocalypse, this sorrows until Holy Yahushua calls us with a shout. If you want to get through that, if you want to be an overcomer, if you want to be uh, someone that's running that marathon to win it until the end, you got to do it. You, boo, you got to do it, okay? So I think we covered uh, everything. We covered uh, Archangel Michael coming. We covered the pit. We covered uh, the casting out of demons, the next playlist we're going to be doing. Uh, we covered um, the, the purple portal. So, priest, with that said, I pray that you have a beautiful, blessed day, a happy Sabbath. And we will come back next week and we will continue talking about Armageddon, egg DNA, and uh, Myrtle, innocent secret message. We'll also uh, go over the hand, uh, the hand movements. We've been warned about this time we're in. Anything can happen any day. It can just jump off any day. The bomb could fall any day. Whatever is coming can be coming. Please make sure that you and your family have, are, are ready not only physically, but spiritually, mentally. Prepare yourselves, prepare your children. This are the day, these are the days we have been warned about. Love you in Christ, all glory to the Most High Father. I am this perfect day, and within me, the light which does not fail dwells. All glory to the Most High Father. Holy Jehoshua, Shalom Priests.